center of mass and the center of gravity this is a four marks question in the intermediate examination they will ask to write the differences between center of mass and center of gravity so question will be like this distinguish between center of mass and center of gravity and write the differences center of mass it is a point inside the body at which whole mass is supposed to be concentrated it is a point inside the body at which whole mass is supposed to be concentrated coming to center of gravity it is a point inside the body through which the total weight of the body acts and the second point in center of mass it pertains or contain to the mass of the body center of gravity second point it refers to the weight acting on all particles of the body third point in the case of small body center of mass and center of gravity coincide that is uniform gravitational field in the uniform gravitational field the center of mass and center of gravity will coincide and third point under center of gravity in the case of huge bodies center of mass and center of gravity may not coincide that is in the non uniform gravitational fields they are not coinciding fourth point the algebraic sum of moments of the masses about the center of mass is zero the algebraic sum of moments of weights about the center of gravity is zero fifth point in center of mass the center of mass is used to study the translatory motion of a body when it is in a complicated motion example when a body is uh, projected and in its path suppose it was exploded but the center of mass of the system lies in the same path what we expected a parabolic path so whether the particles are together or exploded going in different places but the center of mass of the total system will remain to travel in the path of parabola only that is importance of center of mass in the fifth point in the center of gravity center of gravity is used to know the stability of the body where it is to be supported that is if you see the center of gravity is very close to the ground the vehicles when they are moving they are very safe so center of gravity explain the stability of the body while they are moving on the road or anywhere so center of gravity always should be very close to the ground level then the stability will be more sixth point in the center of mass center of mass may be inside or outside the body very important suppose you take a plate center of mass will be at the center of it suppose you take a ring center of mass is at the center of that circle but the mass is along the circumference nothing is there inside but center of mass is at the center of that circle so here center of mass is outside the body and in the case of ring that is the best example whereas coming to center of gravity sixth point center of gravity always will be inside the body it cannot be outside these are the important points we are trying to perform the experiment by using different objects when i take a circular rod and keep it here nothing will happen it tra it tries to come down now when i keep the same circular rod towards the higher leg end and then it travels down along the ramp there is nothing beauty about it there is nothing unusual thing about it but the problem is when i keep the cone at this point it doesn't travel down now when i shift the position of the double cone towards the lower end of the ramp you will be surprised to know that it goes up it climbs up the ramp without any force being applied on it whenever you want to climb up the ramp there should be some force to push it up whereas in this case it just travels on its own it is quite unusual and it is defying the nature so let us try to find out what is the reason for this abnormal behavior the abnormal behavior do you it can be explained in two types of uh, in two ways one is in terms of energy the other one is in terms of center of gravity whenever you talk about center of gravity center of gravity is the point where the entire body weight is concentrated in the case of three dimensional object normally center of gravity is confined to the will be within the body now this is the double cone whose center of gravity lies within at the center of these two cones now when the design of the plane is made in such a way 
that the when you observe this here, you can see definitely height of the cone is much higher compared to this particular place. At this place, when I insert my palm, fingers are touching the double cone. Whereas when I try to measure in terms of weight, you can see that there's a lot of gap. That means the height of the cone at this point is much higher than compared to this point. Because of the fact that height difference is there, the body tries to travel from a, from a uh, higher altitude to lower, lower uh, point. Now, how does it travel? In fact, if this, play, if this thing was not there, it would have traveled straight vertically down. Because of the fact that some track is given, some, some particular path is given for the object to travel, it is traveling along the design which is made. Now, how do you, how do you take this? This is at a particular height. It, it has some potential energy. When it goes down, it is going down. It's, it has changed its energy from potential to kinetic energy and the, it has traveled down. You can see that it is touching the, and my fingers are touching the core. Whereas at this point, they are not touching. Now, the question is, this is one way of explaining. At this point, it has some height with reference to the ground. It is traveling down along the ramp. Instead of traveling down along the ramp, it is climbing up the ramp. That is the specialty of this. Now, the second way is, when you talk about center of gravity, any object is more stable when it is closer to the ground. When you, when you check the object here, it, in, its center of gravity point is much higher when compared to this point. So, what happens is, because of the fact that there is not a stable position, center of gravity is much higher. The moment I leave it, it tries to take its position which is more safe. This is the safest position. That is the reason you must observe large trucks with the high, more height are tend to fall down for small changes, small way, small uh, any abnormality on the road or something, some small pits also in it, but the whole thing. Or rather, I would say that wider cars with lesser height is more stable than the same width and then high, more height cars. The example of the two cars, if you see this unstable car and stable car, why one is unstable and one is a stable car? Because here the base width is small, that is why unsafe. If the base width is more, the car is very safe to drive when they are moving. So if the base width is more, the car will be more safe while riding. The second example, if I take the two cars, one car is having smaller height, the other car is uh, height is more. If the height of the car is more, center of gravity will be at a higher distance from the ground. Therefore, it is unsafe. So, if the center of gravity is lying at a higher place compared to the other one, then its stability will be less. So, more is the height less is the stability, more is the height of the center of gravity, less is the stability, more is the base, more is the stable. So base level should be more and height should be small. Such cars are more safe to drive. So these are some examples, practical examples.